Okay, this video is um, for the people that were asking about um, how to use prescription glasses with their gas mask uh, at the most affordable uh, way because we all know that that's the, the inserts that each of the manufacturers make are pretty expensive. So what I have is a genuine MSA spectacle kit, part number 816137. And um, it is for use with like the MSA 1000 as well as this MSA Millennium. Um, this is what it looks like. It's not really anything special. It's just a springy steel um, that pushes on the, the like essentially like the left temple and the right temple side of the mask. Um, the universal ones for like snowboarding goggles and like snorkeling goggles, they usually require the top and the bottom. And if you look inside of these masks, you'll see that there really isn't a place in the bottom to press against because these nose cups are just uh, really flimsy silicone. Um, in looking at this, uh, in addition to the springy steel, this piece right here that allows you to adjust the height of the glasses up and down to ensure that it puts the lenses where they need to be over your eyes. This is made out of rubber. And then the lens frame itself is just kind of stabbed into that rubber to hold it in place. And then it's got some screws so that you can open those clamps and clamp in your prescription. Um, these are pretty expensive. I, I wanna say the cheapest I've ever seen them is about $90. Um, and I know that there are places where they go for more than a hundred, uh, like 150. So because there were some people asking, I made my own. This is made out of uh, like just regular coat hanger. So it's not springy but it is malleable so you can get it bent to exactly the um, shape and the tension inside your mask that you need. If you need to make it a little bigger, I bent these corners so that um, they wouldn't uh, be at risk of like poking the, the, the butyl, the rubber part of the mask. And then this is just made out of some like dense, well, not really super dense, but it's, it's like foam knee pad that you might find in like a gardening section so that you can kneel on it when you're working in, in your garden. But I cut some, I cut it to about the same size as the MSA kit, and then I cut slits in it so that it could slide with some tension up and down and uh, do, perform the same kind of measurement or the same kind of adjustment as the MSA. With my plan being taking a pair of regular prescription glasses, removing the earpieces, which I'm not gonna do on these, um, but for, for fitment, all that I did was I, I put it in this place right here and I put zip ties around it. I did like an X shaped zip tie thing and put the, um, the, the buckles of the zip tie on the front so that they wouldn't be on the bridge of your nose. And when I did that, I tried both the original MSA as well as the one that I made. Uh, I tried it in my Avon F, uh, sorry, Avon C50 mask. I tried it in the MSA Millennium, and I've also since uh, acquired a Scott GSR mask, and I've put it inside there also, and this worked for all of them. Um, it would be kind of difficult to get each of the masks into a position where you could see them inside the mask, but the beauty of using just like a coat hanger is it's super cheap, and you can make it to exactly the specification that you need, size-wise, as well as how much tension you need to keep it from shifting inside of your mask. Um, Somebody else um, in, on Facebook had asked about beyond just using the prescription, because uh, if you don't already know, if you're wearing a prescription glass with a, with a gas mask, the, the, the earpiece prevents you from getting the, the negative pressure seal that you need with each of these ma gas masks. So um, you can't have earpieces and you need something to hold those in place. As you can see, each of these masks, uh, well, these two have outserts. This just has a mirrored tint on it. Um, when you get, start getting into um, issues where other masks or masks that don't have one piece or that aren't supported as well, um, you might need some type of UV protection or protection from like glare or maybe even welding for that matter. Um, not every mask is supported with, with the ability to use outserts. And what this would allow you to do using this is if you can find a goggle or a glass, like lens, uh, not glass, but like polycarbonate, uh, you could do the same thing. You could, like safety glasses, you could remove the earpieces and use this inside of the mask to provide you with that protection. Um, my intention in doing this 
was to use a laser protective lens for like green and blue high powered lasers uh, to protect myself from those because like um, I'm pretty sure Avon is the only one of the manufacturers that I have here that even makes some type of laser protective outsert and it's only for infrared uh, which isn't uh, a, co a concern of my own so hopefully some of this is helpful to you guys and if there's any other information that I can give you or show you and how I, I've just used a pair of pliers to bend this and to cut it um, let me know down in the comments.